Okay, guys, we're back with some more Skygrid episode 3. Um, thank you for joining me yet again, and um, I think I know why my frame rate, frame rate rather, is totally piss poor at the moment. I've got my render distance on fast, so I might bump that down to normal for now, see if that helps with the smoothness. Um, because it's all so open, all the chunks are rendered, so if you're having that issue yourself, just whack down your render distance and you shouldn't have an issue. And um, I've set my spawn in this bed here. I do believe, um, I think I have, if not, there's the coordinates, but um, what I might do actually is go for a bit of a suicide because I've run out of sprint and the only fit I do have probably won't get me going for long, so we're just going to do this, um, I hope, I don't think it's against the rules at all to do this, but I don't know, it's just a good strategy I suppose, and um, we better go, bleh, better go hunting out for some more blocks, um, at the end of the last episode, we established this pretty crappy cobblestone generator, but hopefully we can get it fully functional by the end of this episode. That's the goal. And, yeah, we've got enough iron to smelt into a bucket, so we'll be able to go pick off some lava and water around the place and then get this thing going. Because, yeah, as I said, once we get that stuff going, it will be smooth sailing in my eyes. And, um... Looks like my frame rate's already steadied up. I've checked that chest three times now. I have no idea why. But uh, my frame rate's Im improved. That's the word. Um, since I've just toned down the render distance, which is nice. This ice is going to throw me off. Um, I don't want to go too far. Wow, what the hell happened here? <laughs> See, some of the blocks are just updating on their own. Is that a cow spawner? Hmm, so far I actually haven't seen a spawner do anything, so I'm a bit apprehensive about actually utilizing them because I don't think they actually work. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm doing something wrong. If so, let me know. God damn. But yeah, the goal is definitely for a chest. Um, I probably should be collecting the blocks as I go along like this. But, probably don't need any more wool, wow that hurt. Um, hmm, we just need to scout out and try and find these chests because they're the most critical aspect of this um, map to get it done quickly anyway I know we're up to episode 3 already but once we get this thing rolling it'll be s extremely quick hopefully that's my line of thought I probably should look up before I leap because I just missed iron I get a bit tunnel visioned and totally ignore the stuff around me which is probably not the best thing to do for this map and yeah these chests really are few and far between I'm glad that was a pumpkin block and not like a lava block that would have sucked butthole but yes we shall grab this gravel because I imagine we'll need arrows at some stage I don't think I'll need it for a very long time but I'm not I don't think we can grab gold with iron I mean a stone pickaxe um Leaves. Let's try and get a sapling out of this. Oh wow, that's extremely good luck. And um, this water's actually giving me an idea. Um, oh, that's annoying. God damn, is there any way apart from swords to do that quickly? Um, what I want to do with this water stream actually is utilize it as an elevator. Um, just a spur of the moment kind of idea just now. And this will be able to get me as high as I need to go. I totally have no idea which direction my base is in. I should be able to point it out though because I've lit it up pretty well. It's not that big but I've got torches on it which is the main thing and it's currently night time so it should be fairly simple to find it. And there we go. There's a torch over there already. I did not even see this iron. What the hell? Talk about tunnel vision. Yeah, make sure you check your surroundings constantly in this map because yeah, you'll never know when you'll miss something. And I've probably just been a massive hypocrite, I've probably gone across a few chests already without even noticing it but such is Minecraft such is Skygrid and um, if you guys want to play this map for yourself as always, check the uh, description bar and I'll give you guys a link to the Minecraft forums in which you can download this map from creator is Seth Bling as you may already know you should already know if you've been following this series if not, no worries if this is your first time uh, Checking out one of my videos, welcome. I'm going to stop 
talking about myself though, because it's fucking strange. And there we go, there's our base. We might actually go to the top of this water stream, see how far we can go up and see if we can utilize it. I'm um, just got to keep one eye on my base just to make sure I don't lose sight of it. So I'm not quite keen on losing it at this point because it's pretty much to the point where it is a good place to be. <laughs> what else can I say? It's valuable to me. That's probably a better way to describe it. But um, just got to scan around for chests. This water stream has proven to be extremely useful. If you guys make your own little base in this, um, good little tip. I just found it out of randomness, but uh, we'll see how far we can get with this. Um, I'd like to get a few more cobblestone blocks, actually. Looks like the chests are pretty grim at the moment. A bit stingy. But, oh well, if we can get enough blocks, um, we probably won't need a chest anyway. Wool isn't much use for me at the moment. Um, I can't exactly do anything with it. Um, if I put it next to love, it'll burn. Oh, we've got a chest over there. Oh, frame rate. I apologize. But, um, hmm, that's my old crafting bench. I'll probably come across my old base. Oh, I do not want to screw with that guy. And if, if we have a panic attack, we can just jump down from here, down to my base. I'll probably die from the falling damage, though, so I probably won't be doing that anytime soon. And, <laughs> you see, <laughs> that was a bit ambitious. Well done, spider. Hopefully get some string for that guy, because we'll need to make a bow at some stage. So I want to take out the Ender Dragon with range, um, my preferred style, and that's a big drop. Not quite sure if I want to take that, might do this. Take the safe route, it's always a good way to go about it. Um, <laughs> I did see a chest before, it was a bit out of range though, so I don't want to kind of, I don't want to go too far away just to get a simple chest, hopefully. I'm going to try the whole holding shift and f okay that works that's extremely hard to do though if you want to do that just hold shift go as far as you can to the left or the right and then as soon as you fall off um hold the opposite button and you should be able to tuck in under it and um, i imagine if you're playing this with friends on smp that that little trick may be hard to pull off but um now we've got this sapling we can utilize it um trying to find an area where there isn't many blocks um and but also a base underneath it so I can actually harvest the wood without it all falling off the map. But I might use this gravel as a stair for now. It's got no real other use for me. And uh, I might harvest this cobblestone. Actually, we need to get a furnace underway. Oh, bollocks. Um, I think that's a good place to put it for now. Um, might need to chuck a stair here. We use this wood. Um... But yeah, I really need to get this damn bloody iron cooked up. That's my biggest issue at this moment. I don't have enough cobblestone to do so. But um, what I might do actually is just go for go for a little jog again, a chest search. That hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. Well, fuck it. He's annoying me. He looks ugly. We're gonna take him on for no real reason apart from pure curiosity. Um, so yeah, fucking owned, owned, don't even fuck with me creeper, but um, we'll go sprint off in this direction as far as we can until I lose momentum, oh that's water, that's not good, but the goal is to obviously find a chest, either mark it out and come back with my gear and grab it, or just simply grab it from here and then go back, looks like we found another one, next to a water stream which is good, we'll be able to float back up. But um, my health is really not looking good right now. What I might do is use this cobweb as a fall break. Even though this is going to take a while. Um, hopefully I get my energy up though. Keep it up rather. So that way I can float up back to the height of my base and then sprint jump across. I think I just heard an enderman. Which is strange. And um, I will need to kind of make an area to kill enderman in. Because I'll need to get a crap ton of ender pearls to get to the to the end, and um, as I progress and get enough blocks, oh, that's that's what we want, kinda. Um, that'll allow me to get back. But um, 
what I need to do is, well, oh, a creeper spawner, that makes sense. Um, hmm, what am I trying to say here? What I need to do is, uh, try and make my way closer and closer to that end portal, um, as I progress. So once I get this cobblestone generator, um, oh, damn it, I didn't bring a pickaxe. Um, balls. Really came unprepared now. But um, at least we got all this wood. I'd prefer it if it was dirt or stone or something or other, but I guess wood's good for now. Um, it's weird and a bit annoying that the only spawner that I can see working is the creeper one, but whatever. Can't complain. Um, wow, and it's pumping them out like a... Wow. That's not good. Oh, that is not good also. I'm so not good at this map. Probably should have played it through before I started making a series of it. But I wanted to give it a bit of a raw feel to it. Make it not feel scripted. Because that's just poo as if I, if I was going to do that. And, um... Hmm. What am I to actually? Hmm. No, actually, I've got enough iron. I'm going to stop. What are you looking at, man? Like, seriously? Fuck off. Right. Oh, that's not what I want. Okay, we're going to have to play this safely for now. I don't know. Maybe I'll set up a... Fuck my ass. Oh. <sighs> Excuse the profanities. But, uh... Thanks, Minecraft, for the music. Oh, for f I swear. My W key is like... I mean, I've, play, I've been playing FPS on PC for such a long time that the W key on my keyboard is completely faded. I'm gonna just break this goddamn chest, it's so confusing. And, um, that way, we don't have that issue anymore where we go looking for chests that are already emptied. But, um, what I might do, I might go exploring down lower, probably a bit more elegantly than that would be what we'd need to do. But, um, ah. Oh, this map, it's so aggravating. I kind of want to, I want to make progress really badly, but at the same time, I can't without cobblestone. And it's, there's no real fast way of doing this. That's the truth. That's not, you can't handle the truth. Fuck! Oh, this map. I thought this was going to be like a peaceful little survival map, but no. Looks like I'm going to have to fucking start swearing and yelling at it. Looks like it's going to be more aggravating than Vex is super hostile. Oh, f fridge filet. Um. Okay, we're going to think this through. I'm just going to stop blindly killing myself and actually focus. Um. The only problem is there's no way I can generate blocks for myself without a cobblestone generator. I might shorten render distance again. Frame rate's still a bit stuttery. Not that it really matters having it on short because at the end of the day, it's just a bunch of blocks anyway. It's a pretty nifty rhyme. It's pretty much a crime. But um, I'm going to stop being retarded. Alright, I'm getting rid of this. So every chest I do find, I'll either... I'll probably use this as a way to get up, actually, if I actually can. But um, yeah, every chest that I search, I will pick up from now on, because I don't want to confuse myself, because I'm pretty good at doing that, one of my many talents, um, also make a mad bowl of cereal, so yeah, pretty much a chef, um, but yeah, I'm really struggling to find these chests, um, in his tutorial, he came across three or four of them, but, um, it doesn't look like we're finding any chests with quick hay, so I might have to just suicide for now, suicide's not normally the advice I'd give anyone, but in this situation, I think it's appropriate given that I'm up shit creek without a paddle. Um, hmm. I might check that chest over there just out of curiosity. Probably won't be able to make it back with the loot, but oh well. If it's good enough, I'll try and mark it out and maybe pick it up later, but for now. Ooh, see, that's extremely valuable if I was able to get back to my base with it. What I could do, actually, I might try something. I'm going to bunny hop as far as I can until I screw up. 
towards my base. And then I'll replace this chest down close to a water stream so I can pick it up. Um, actually, I'll go one step further and I'll just beast it. Oh, yeah. Um, I totally forget the Y coordinate that my base is on, but I think I can see it up there anyway. Maybe. Yeah, that looks very suspiciously base-like. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know that made, why that made me giggle so much, but the last thing we want to do is drop the base. Fucking ha-ha. But what we might do, actually, might have to use some of this stone as much as it pains me to do so. Um, and where art thou, base? Oh, God. I've totally lost it already. Oh, no. Oh, God. The music stops. The water just awkwardly accompanies me. Oh, man. I'm so bad at this. I'm so sorry. Um, the goal is to get this done as quick as possible. This is going to take a while. Um, but yeah, I'm not ending this, ending this episode until I get a cobblestone generator. You can have my word on that. None of this eight minute episode poo. We're going legit. We're going to stick to our word and get it done. And, um, I can see it up there. I might go to this water stream here and float up from there. Providing I can get there, of course. Which at this point I... Hmm. Okay, that was not bad. Oh. I think that when the world just... Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> when the world decides it wants to render all the chunks again for some reason, I think Optifine's the reason behind that. My frame rate tends to drop, so when I go for a jump and my frame rate drops to 1, it's extremely difficult to stay on track. But, um... Hmm. Hope you guys don't have issues like that. And, um, you obviously... Well, most of you, for the most part, won't be recording when you're playing it, so that also helps. Because Fraps is extremely lag-inducing. But um, I'm going to try and utilize this water as much as I can. I'll probably pop over there and zigzag my way across while I have energy. And, okay, we can use this water stream here. I didn't actually see that one. That's a better alternative, I reckon I would say. But here we go. Hopefully we make it. Beautiful, beautiful. Very nice. If I do say so myself. Um, don't know what I'm going to need TNT for, but... Oh well. Could be fun in the future. Um, Got to keep an eye out for my base though. There we go, up here. Oh, looks like my tree's grown beautiful. That's pretty much the only way I can generate blocks at this point. Um, is with trees, which is... Kind of crappy, but at the same time, at least blocks are blocks. I guess I can use wood blocks in order to get towards other blocks that are useful. Like stone blocks. Um, have I checked this chest? I probably have, but I'm going to use this TNT. Yeah, okay. we're destroying that. Because, yeah, it's probably a good tip to destroy chests after you've looked at them. Because um, you don't be looking, uh, going on an adventure to... Loot the same chest twice, if you know what I mean. But um, I'll probably need to set up a little area, similar to Skyblock, where I just pre bleh, where you what you pressure? No, what's the word? You hmm have high value over dirt blocks, and then for now wood can be my cobblestone. So I'll need to beef out this area. I'll see if I've got any more building blocks in here, which I do, which is good. I'll probably use the dirt blocks um, sparingly from now on to make trees. And um, hopefully we can come across some bones or something of that something of that nature. Oh, oh frame rate. But hopefully all these saplings should, for the most part, fall onto this. These wooden planks, I know some of them may fall off, but poo happens. The main priority is wood. As long as we get one sapling back, we should be fine. And we've already got another sapling of a birch tree and a jungle tree, so even if we don't get one back, I've still got backup plans. But yeah, I didn't imagine it would take me this long to get a bloody cobblestone generator happening. In Skyblock, you get it done within the first, like, 30 seconds. So I kind of underestimated this map, to be honest. I kind of looked at it, kind of disregarded it with any difficulty, and kind of thought it would be a nice little playthrough. But, turns out, it's just as hard as anything else. So I might use this stone, actually, use our wood pickaxe. Considering we don't actually have a stone one anymore. Now I'm turning this into cobble. 
um, and get this cobblestone generator actually fully fledged out of cobblestone just in case. Actually, we probably won't need cobblestone. We can just use regular stone um, for this part. The cobblestone I'll need to make stone pickaxes and such, but you guys already know that. I'm not going to lecture you guys on what everything's used for when the game's like three years old. I'm actually not sure how old this game is, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I'm glad it was created because it's a nifty little game. This is probably the game with the most longevity I've ever seen. Because, um, <clears throat> I don't know, play old school, play I know that sounds a bit retarded, old school PlayStation games. not semi-old school, right? All you middle-aged men and your Ataris. Ah, uh, whatever. I accept your superiority, but for me, the PlayStation 1 is old school. So, if you're playing a game like a legendary game like Spyro or something, the old dragon, that game rubs off fairly quickly. Minecraft is the most open ended game with. I'd like to think it has no end, but in reality, it does. But I don't know. It's just, yeah. You're limited to your own creativity, and that's what I like about it. Yeah. That's why I've probably played it for so long. Because I'm just so goddamn creative playing other people's custom maps. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, this episode's getting extremely long, actually. I'm tempted to close it off for now, but. Uh, I did say that I would get this done, and I totally just realized I can make a furnace out of this thing. Oh, yeah. One step closer. Alright, let's get this shit underway. Getting extremely cramped up. Um, use our regular wood as fuel. We can also use our saplings or our other wood if need be. But, um, we'll grab our iron. And that should smelt away nicely. Um, we've got a lava source block there. Where's our closest water source? Just there, so that should be fairly easy. And, um, I think the lava goes here, water here. And I should stand here, and hopefully the lootations get pushed towards me. And then off camera, I'll probably get diggy diggy. I'll do a little speed speed digging to show you guys progress um, without boring you to death. So next episode, we can expand our little base here and start getting some real crap together, which shall be nice. Because, um, yeah, at the moment, it's a bit slow, but... I assure you, it'll pick up. I just know it. Just feel it in the air. This lovely pixelated air. But if I drop this bucket, tears will be shed. Right. That was pretty smooth. Um, hmm. I need a way to store this temporarily because I need to put the lava here. Actually, I can just do this. Derp. Um, hopefully, you can reach this water from here. There we go. Hopefully, this cobblestone generator will work. And I can end this episode on a good note. Moment of truth. Hey, that's what, that's what we want to see. That's not what we want to see. You might plug that up just in case, just to make sure we get the most out of it. But yeah, guys, um, that was episode 3 of Skygrid. Let me know if you're enjoying the series as always. Um, you guys got any tips for me? Let me know in the comments section. And yeah. I look forward to talking to you guys next time. So watch out for the next episode coming out in two days from now. So yeah, I'm going to stop blabbering on as always, and I'll catch us later.